What's up everyone, my name is Zeno and today we're checking out a portable enclosure with a slick innovative design. The Dikoki M.2 NVMe SSD with USB 3.2 Gen 2. Before we dive in, I want to let you know that Dikoki sent me this device to review. While I'm not getting paid for this review, I do get to keep this enclosure. They've just launched on Kickstarter with what I think is a really affordable starting price. Today I'll be covering the design, performance and a few use cases. So let's get into it. That was their product launch video, which I love. And the first thing that you'll notice right here is the packaging. It's pretty minimalistic, which I love. So let's crack it open. All right, here's what we got. Right on top, we've got the enclosure itself wrapped in a silicone case, which is a plus point to me, especially because it's so compact, it's portable. You can easily put it in your pocket. If your keys is inside, you can scratch the metal case easily. So the silicone case is definitely a plus to me. If we look further underneath the box, you'll find the USB C to C cable just uh, as an extension. So that's also a plus to me that it comes with that. So the design itself, it's got a really slick all metal build, definitely feels premium in the hand and it's super compact and lightweight. It has a magnetic design. The magnetic design makes it feel tool free, which is a huge bonus to me. Yeah, no screws, just snap your SSD in and you're good to go. I'm really digging the transparent window right here because it comes with RGB lighting and you can see all the internals. I think this is gonna look awesome on any desk. And since it's magnetic and my desk also, it actually sticks to the desk. That's pretty awesome. So you have the top cover right here. You can take that off and here you'll see the USB-C port. Besides that, you can also take off the back plate, which is also magnetic. There you go. So that's pretty nice feeling and you can easily swap M.2 SSDs without using any screwdrivers. You can just take it out like that and there you go. So that's a pretty easy process right here. And if you wanna swap them over, you just put it in and there you go. And that's it. Put the back plate on and now you've swapped SSDs. So that's pretty cool. So I can imagine you can use this for many use cases like your PC, laptop, you wanna transfer something over, but also your game consoles. But something I use the Samsung T5 for, for instance, is very annoying and to me this is a very big bonus for any iPhone user. Did you know that recording progress at 2.8K 60fps is only supported when using external storage? Well, connecting the Deco key enclosure to your iPhone unlocks this feature. While I'm using the T5 with an extension cable, I always have to hold it while I'm recording. With the Deco key, I won't be needing to do that anymore. Let me just show you when we go to video and we do ProRes HDR 60 FPS, 60 FPS, it will tell us that ProRes is not supported. Now, if I put this one in here on my phone, on my iPhone, the first thing that you'll notice is that it will light up. There you go. It's lighting up. It has pretty cool RGB lightings. And now I can actually click on ProRes and you will see right here, it's gonna record to the USB-C. And now I can record easily like this without having the need of the T5 next to it with a cable. And it works pretty good. During my testings, the USB did not disconnect while recording a video. Now on any iPhone, you can access any data through the app called Files. Just go to it and you'll see the PNY folder appearing. And here you can copy files, transfer files, find your recordings, whatever, everything you can find in this folder. So that was the testing on the iPhone, which works great, but we also got an Android phone right here. So let's check that out. And it's a very easy process. Just take the enclosure out the iPhone, put it in the Android phone. And with Android, you always get a notification. There you go, USB connection request, just press okay. And here we can use the My Files application on the Samsung phone, and there you have it. So instantly you'll see internal storage, and underneath it you'll find USB storage one. In here, you can find all the files you have, copy it, transfer files, whatever, you name it, you can do it all from here. So those things works great. But what I really wanna find out, how are the speeds on this device? 
Let's find out. So what I've done is I've connected the DicoKey enclosure to my PC's USB 3.2 Gen 2 port and I've put a one terabyte M.2 SSD in the enclosure. As you can see on the left side, we've got crystal disk info, which will give us all the info we need to know about the SSD in the enclosure. And on the right side, I've opened up crystal disk mark where we can actually test the speed. As you can see, we're currently on disk K and on this side, you can also see that the testings are ongoing for disk K. So this is the last phase of the testing and you can see something very important. That's the temperature, it stays cool. And the reason why is because it comes with an internal fan which spins constantly to keep the SSD very cool. 36 degrees is very good. Let's just check out all the other temperatures on my PC, 49, 45, 37, 38, 48, 60 this one's not good right here it's 60 degrees and i'm not even using it so that's uh that's something for me to check out right here and then lastly we have the scale again and it's on 38 degrees which is very cool to me and that's all because of course the fan that's included in the enclosure so my final thoughts i think it's a great enclosure especially as a replacement for my t5 which i can connect easily to my phone and do my recordings in high resolution um, it comes with the rgb lighting and with a fan that's integrated keeps your ssd cool it's easy to swap over ssds and you even can get the hub for it and two additional enclosures just like as you see right here so that looks pretty cool on your desk i guess the use cases for it on using your pc is a big plus bonus from your phone to your pc but a lot of users will most likely also use it for their game consoles like the steam decks and uh, yeah i just want to show you this page on kickstarter i'll leave the link in the description so you can check it out yourself you can see how many backers there are there's 29 days to go and they've already had a lot of funding for it you can also see right here, one gig file, about one second. That's actually what we proved right here during our testings. And you can go ahead and back this project if you're interested. You'll see the options they have currently. So $49 will be the starting price for now. We just missed out, unfortunately, on the $39 pledge offer. Um, but if you want to go all in on this project, and you want to get a hub with it and three enclosures, uh, you'll have to go for this package right here. Or if you're even more crazy than that and you want two hubs with six enclosures, you'll go for this package right here. The pricing you have now, if you think this is a good fit for you, I would get it right away because it will be getting expensive for after Kickstarter. So I guess that's it. Thank you all for watching. And if you found that this review was helpful, give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tech reviews like this one. Thank you again for watching and don't forget, I'll see you in the next one.